They're always fighting about money. So dumb. Tobias, what if we have to move? I'm gonna have to go to a new school. Oh man, I hate making new friends. It's gonna be happening all over again. Evan, get in here! Did you think I wouldn't notice? Notice what? I'm missing four cigarettes. Well? I don't know, Dad. I didn't take your cigarettes. Then who did? Him? Is that what you expect me to believe? I thought you quit. Don't get smart with me. Oh, I didn't do it, I swear! <laughs> Listen, buddy. You're too young to be smoking. I know things have been tough around here, but I promise they're gonna get better. But in order for that to happen, we gotta stick together. You understand? Smoking is not the answer. Fine, whatever. Now go on, go to bed. I love you, son. Let's go, Tobias. <laughs> no, what to do? Honey, I'm sorry. I don't want to fight with you. I promise, baby, I'm doing everything I can to find work. I know. I'm just worried. He said he was gonna file the eviction papers if we didn't pay on time this month. What are we gonna do? We still have a few more days. I'll figure out a way to get the money. No, absolutely not. But how, Lloyd? There has to be another way. Now, come here. Have you seen Tobias? I can't find him anywhere. No, honey, I haven't. Now hurry up and eat your cereal. You're gonna miss the bus again and I don't have time to drive you to school today. Hi, honey. I got a tile job for the weekend, and with the landscaping gig, hopefully that will total up. Honey? You okay? No, I'm not okay. Look what I found in Evan's room. What's that? Look inside! What's the meaning of this? I don't know. He denies knowing anything about it. Where is he? I sent him to his room. Evan! Get down here! Where did you get this money? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean, I don't know where it came from. Just like you didn't know what happened to my cigarettes. I never took your cigarettes. I don't even smoke. Ugh! Gosh, you blame me for everything. Evan, honey, we need to know where you got this money. 
We interrupt this broadcast to bring you breaking news. Dave Whitehead here, bringing you a special report. Earlier today, in a most shocking and unusual twist of events, Mark's bank was robbed in the early hours of the morning. But this is no ordinary bank heist. You're going to have to see this to believe it. On location is correspondent Ching Chung Chow with the details. Thank you, Dave. As you can see, the mood is confused behind me where eyewitnesses say a regular Joe house cat held up the tellers at gunpoint, taking several of the drawers. Based on these witnesses' accounts, police have compiled this sketch to aid in tracking down this wanted criminal. Police are still on the lookout for this crafty feline who they say made off with over $25,000 in cash. But please, be careful. This actual cat burglar is considered armed and dangerous. Where's Tobias? He was very upset and screaming at the teller. Whoever heard of a cat robbing a bank anyway? <laughs> yeah, it was gnarly. And the cat was pissed. I just put my head down on the floor and prayed. He knew exactly what he was doing. I thought for sure he was going to murder us. Were you scared? More in awe than scared. To be honest, at first I thought I was hallucinating. But then I was like, no. This is real, dude. 